All right, welcome back everybody. We have another overheating graphics card. This is an MSI Ventus 3080. It's supposed to be hitting um, 99, at least 99. Um, and I have it at 18 just because if I try to do more, um, I don't get really good results for it because um, of the memory temps, as you can see here. They are very, very high, 110 degrees versus the next Versus a 3090, it's only 180 degrees. So we're gonna try to change the thermal pads on this, add new thermal paste as well on the chip and see if we can bring the temperatures down. I mean, the chip doesn't seem to be too bad. It's just the uh, the memory temperatures. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this card out, clean it up, change the thermal pads, and hope that we can get up to 99 because a 3080 running at 76 is no, no good, no good, no good. So we have another overheating GPU. Here it is, it's an MSI 3080 Ventus. Um, yeah, I think I was supposed to clean this a while ago too, and it just, uh, you know, I, I got a little sidetracked. I mean, there's like oils and stuff coming out of this thing of, of the heat pads that are, of the thermal pads that are actually already on here. I'm gonna have to wipe all that off. It looks gross, but uh, yeah, let's uh, get started on it. Okay, everybody, so I've actually never taken a Ventus 3080 apart before. This is going to be new to, new to me. Um, and an adventure, I guess. So I know that the merge is happening. What is it? They moved it down to September 15th now. Um, but I'm still optimistic about uh, altcoins, so I'm going to continue... I'm gonna work on what I have currently. I'm gonna work with what I have currently. And we'll see once after merge happens where we're gonna, where we're gonna land as GPU miners. Um, I thought about getting into ASICs, but I just don't have the power or location to do it. Look at that, it's disgusting. Um, I thought about hosting. Um, or getting a hosting company. I've contacted some, uh, not for me. I have I've contacted some, some for a uh, client that I have, and at least uh, the one that I've contacted, they will not host anything that I buy outside of what they sell. If you know what I'm saying, like I have to buy it from their store in order for them to host, which. Find a little unnecessary. Um, I mean, if I'm already holding, let's say if I was already holding a million dollars worth of Bitcoin miners, you would think they'd, they'd host for me, right? But I guess that's not how this works. All right, let's take a look. I mean, just looking at this, I'm pretty sure that I don't have to take the back plate off. Pretty sure that I can just go right into the uh, into this here. Oh, okay. And I'll see how long it takes. Wow, that is really pressured on there. I'm kind of. I probably should have uh, had taken them off at the same time. Oh, we're gonna break the sticker. Should we break that sticker? It doesn't really matter to me if if we break the sticker or not. Yeah, I don't, care. I don't plan on returning this to wherever I got it anyways. I bought it brand new. I just didn't know at the time that the Ventus 3080s were one of the worst cards to have for uh, mining without it overheating. Uh, that is not the only thing that I'm supposed to be taking off, huh? Damn, I mean, I am gonna have to take off the, uh, the back. Whenever you guys are doing this and you're not sure, make sure you don't just pull on everything really, really hard uh, because it could, it could break something. Man, all the, all the, the oil, it's so oily. Everything that I'm touching right now because of the stuff that came out of the thermal pads that are currently on here. Let's take this off, let's see. Is it just gonna come off or it's gonna fight me? There's another screw in there. What? Okay. Does the front come off now? There we go, the front comes up. All righty then. 
So the ones that I want to replace are going to be these here. One, two, three, four. Um, with better ones, I bought I bought these online. The Gelid Gelid 1.5 millimeter um, thermal pads, which I was watching a video, and I'll probably link it down below of somebody testing different ones, and that one came out to be at the top with the best thermals. Try to cut me out some of these that um, are about the same size. There's so much oil coming out of here off of these. It's actually kind of crazy. Look at that. It's so shiny. So I don't know if these are bad or not, by the way. I, I, I'm just hoping that by changing them out, which by the way, these look exactly the same. I'm not gonna lie. They're the same color and everything. <laughs> Do you imagine we're changing the thermal pads to other thermal pads, but they're the exact same thermal pads? That'd be a little, that'd be a little depressing, wouldn't it? So we'll do there. We'll do. So it seems that I bought the wrong size and these, the ones that actually come off of the graphics card are really, really thick. They're probably two millimeters. I bought 1.5. Now here's the thing. I have a choice to make here. Do I put it back together and then I buy the correct ones or do we experiment for science? So, mm, I went for the experimentation thing. Now it is never recommended for you to stack thermal pads. Um, actually, after everywhere I look, it tells me not to do it, but I'm gonna stack, I'm gonna double stack the thermal pads. Now, this is also gonna leave a pretty big gap. So I don't know if it's gonna, if it's gonna touch the dye anymore. So we're gonna put a giant glob of thermal paste and hope for the best and see what happens. And now, at this point, I'm just curious. I wanna see if I can get this one running with double stack thermal pads big glop of thermal paste and see how it runs on my <laughs> anyways now i'm just uh it's just curiosity i know curiosity killed the cat but you know what oh well all right so like i was saying we're gonna add a gigantic glob of thermal paste to this thing uh way more than what we need but let me make sure these are aligned first um that way i don't have to take it back off I'm gonna start with one big thing down the middle, down in the middle like that. We're gonna put another one right there, another one right there. Oh my God, another one right there, another one right there. And we just gonna hope for the best. We just gonna hope that it touches. That's all. I'm, that, you know, you can't you can't experience life if you're if you're afraid to take chances, right? Um, and I ain't afraid to take chances. We gonna do this. Um, let's see. It's gonna be this way. Okay. Oh, this is so bad. Again, I do not recommend anybody doing this. Definitely make sure you get the right, um, the right thermal pads for your graphics card. Now, if you like to experiment, then you know, hey, all power to you. Do whatever, do whatever you want. So you know what? You know what? You know what? Let's uh, let's make sure. Add some more. <laughs> this is probably the most thermal paste I've ever put on a GPU before. Oh, this is so stupid. But science. It's for science, right? All right, y'all. 
I think we put enough thermal paste in there to where it actually touches. So, oh my god, it's still dirty. Um, so I think we're good. I don't see any gaps. I don't know. Let's plug it in and test. So will it be a failure? It's only one way to find out. Uh, I really hope I don't have to redo this. <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> Look at our memory temperature. 62 degrees, but our core is very hot. And our mega hatches are at 38 now. Yeah, that didn't work out so well, did it? Like I said, definitely buy the correct thermal pads. All right, let me take this apart again. Um, I I don't I don't even know what to say. Okay, so okay, so I ordered the wrong ones. They were 1.5. They're supposed to be two millimeters. I told my wife to go ahead and order me the two millimeters. So I went downstairs, took the card back apart, and I put the same the stock thermal pads back on, reapplied thermal paste, and now it's good. But here's the thing. The only thing that I did different was I added the thermal paste, obviously, uh, to, the, to the chip, but I took the thermal pads, I wiped them off, and I turned them upside down and then reinstalled them. That's it. I wiped off the oils, I turned them upside down and put them back on. And, and the card is at 99.14 mega hatches and it's running cooler than some of the other cards now. Um, so my question is, did we actually need thermal pads? Because it's not looking like it. And that also means that everybody that's been changing their thermal pads on this card may not have needed to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it like a half an hour more and see where it's at heat-wise. But, hmm. Alrighty, it's been about 20, 30 minutes and the MSI, 99.26, still at 104 um, memory temp, which I, I understand it's not technically cool. It's still pretty hot. I mean, they're all hot, but it's no longer throttling, which I'm very happy about, I guess. So, yeah, I... I, I don't think I want to spend the money on the thermal pads. I know they can make them go lower, but it's no longer thermal throttling. And like I said, all I did was just, just put it back on and just flipped the thermal pads the other way. Um, is there like a directional right way to put on thermal pads? I didn't think so. That's like the weirdest thing, but... I'm just gonna go with it. Anyways, if this was a learning experience for me, um, I may still buy the thermal pads just to change it out, or maybe I'll do like a test video or something, but for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one, and I hope you learned something from this video, because I sure definitely did. Uh, one of those is uh, buy the correct equipment for your uh, uh, stuff, it's your hardware, so yeah. Bye.